Hi, y'all. This is Tony Mose with Apple Tree Homeschooled Academy and Apple Tree Home Care. And today I went shopping at Sam's Club. So I have a short little shopping haul for you. And let's get started. I got a really good deal on this Pokemon 3 pack. And it's from the Mega Company. And I got this for $15 and some odd cents down from um, $29 and some odd cents, about $30. So it was practically half off. I plan on saving this back for my grandson for either Christmas or his birthday. We go through a ton of strawberries here, and we go through them every week, and these were a really good buy. They were under $4 for, what is that, 32 ounces, 2 pounds, and so I went ahead and got two packs. I picked up some of their chopped broccoli. These are broccoli florets and 2 pounds. That was under $5, and some lettuce for uh, garden garden time. I picked up some organic um, bananas some cinnamon muffins and they were under five dollars for six so that's a good deal I picked up this um, apple pie apple, apple lattice pie for a little under eleven dollars and that's our special treat for the week I picked up this Large, what is that? Uh, three pound cottage cheese for less than five dollars. So, these are really good for the summer because it's hot and you would just want something cool. I love to pair this up with pineapple, and at least one of my daycare children's children love pine pineapple and cottage cheese. I picked up this non fat plain Greek yogurt, which is mostly for my son, my grown son. Uh, we've been looking at it for, for it for a while, and they haven't had it the last several times. I doubt that the daycare children will like this. Greek yogurt turns tends to be a little um, on the bitter side and less sweet, but I hear that it's better for you. We used to make our chicken salad all the time, and it's probably more economical. But this is one of the convenience items I like to get at Sam's Club. This uh, chicken salad is two pounds. It was eight dollars and some odd cents for this large tub. I like to pair it with uh, crescent rolls, and I have one of my daycare children really likes crescent rolls a lot or croissants. Sometimes I just put it on their plate and slice a little piece of crescent roll and put it beside it and then they can choose sometimes they like this on Ritz crackers so however they like it I usually try to pair this and uh, have either choice the crescent roll or the Ritz crackers when I serve the um, chicken salad that way they have a little bit more control of how they want to eat it Surprisingly, in my household, we actually do not go through that much sliced bread, which is really amazing to me. And really, I can only really use one loaf, but it's a lot cheaper to get it uh, in the double pack at Sam's Club. Because at our local food line, one loaf of bread is almost as much as it is getting two loaves in a pack at Sam's Club. So I'll probably be making homemade uh, French toast with this. And we'll probably be make, eating more of uh, sandwiches during the summer that are cooler and more picnic style eating out on the deck. So I used to be a loyal Minute Maid shopper, buyer, and I started buying these Members Mark brand orange juice in a two-pack just because it's more economical. I watch the prices and sometimes if I'm at Walmart I'll get the Minute Maid. But if I'm at uh, Sam's Club I'll go ahead and pick up these double orange juices. I try to keep this on hand at all times just to make sure we have our vitamin C and um, water this down if you give this to children. And if you have a child that's having a lot of diaper rashes they may be having too much acidity from juice. Uh, in their diet so keep an eye out for that if you do give your children juice pairing up uh, things with iron in it is uh, with something with vitamin C like orange juice 
is a good thing because vitamin C will help your body absorb the iron in iron rich foods. So there's a little tip for you. If you have anybody or a child dealing with anemia, try to make sure they get some vitamin C in with their iron. Ever since COVID, the Special K Red Berries with the strawberry slices, the dried strawberries, is one of the only cereals that I can eat. Um, so I try to keep stocked up with this. And for the rest of the items that I bought are all pantry items that's going to go in our pantry to stock our pantry. So I've got a case of canned corn, which it's the summer, so a lot of the corn will be coming in towards the end of the summer, and it'll be a lot cheaper to buy it fresh. But for now, I like to keep canned corn on the shelf. Yeah, I always try to keep stocked up on your kitchen bags, your um, dish detergent, and they had a good deal on these Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, which are good for everything. And we got we go through a ton of ketchup. So this three pack of what's two pounds, 12 ounces, 44 ounces, and it came three in a pack, I got for it less than $10. So I definitely grabbed that up real quick and I'll keep that in our pantry. We go through a lot of ketchup and a lot of ranch dressing in the daycare. I was selfish and got myself some um, socks I like to keep these on my feet. I don't wear shoes in the daycare in the daycare room to try to keep down the dirt on the floor, but um, I do like to keep something on my feet, and so I pick these up. Okay, now for the fun stuff. I got two of these beach towels that have dinosaurs on them. This is what the bottom looks like. So I picked out two of these. And these are to keep on hand for our water play during the summer. A lot of times our water play is impromptu. It depends on how the children are kind of behaving and what the weather's like, whether it's hot enough, whether it's raining. Um, all those details go into determining whether we can have water play during a day. And then I got two of these really pretty unicorn and clouds uh, on a rainbow background beach towels this is what the bottom looks like of the towel so I got two for the girls and two for the boys and then I'll also ask for the parents to bring an extra towel that they can leave here in their cubby but just in case um, I send some home and they don't come back or um, of the children's I'll have a, a few here handy and I won't have to rely on the parents to make sure that they're always in their cubbies. Then how could I forget a case of toilet paper? So always have lots of this around, tissues, baby wipes, things like that. Always need to have plenty of this stocked up. So now that it's summer, we think differently on what we need at the store. We need to keep the towels and cool weather clothing in their cubbies, cool uh, foods to eat because nobody wants to be cooking or eating hot meals. So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. I hope that it's helpful, for, it's helpful to you. Thanks. Have a great week.